Hey folks, please enjoy this clip from our show, which you can find every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern exclusively on Rumble. We've been doing the best shows we've ever done, completely free of censorship and on a platform that actually supports us. You can also support us on Locals where you can access a ton of exclusive content, movie riffs, as well as an archive of over a thousand full episodes going back as far as seven years. We've also teamed up with Merch Engine to bring you a new lineup of really awesome quality shirts, hoodies, and now even hats. So come check out our untested uncensored show on Rumble every single weekday at 4 p.m. Eastern. You stupid idiots. Is it our boy? Yes! Hey, I recognize hey. those floors. Okay, a title. I recognize, the, I recognize those wooden floor, floors and the sounds of distant joy about to be ruined. That's right, Dane Hypernova. <laughs> Grandkids talk how weird I am for my autism and trauma. I vent to myself about their conceited mom. It's the title. So maybe if all the kids are turning on you, it's a problem. Nazi kids, Nazi skinhead kids. Well, let's Nazi. find out, Pessy. Hold on, Dayton <laughs> Bingo. What's he going to say? My brother used to beat me absolutely a trans. Skinhead. Yes, yeah, skinhead. Yep. You have his sister, his fat sister, black husband. Psoriasis. Psoriasis. Yes. He beat me. His other brother, who doesn't like, is now beating him mentally. Something, she something, continued. Christina Ricci. Okay. She used to hide behind her children. She continues to use her children as a shield in any situation involving the violence that happened to me over the past seven and a half goddamn years in this house. In this house. She in kept this bringing house. the kids around. She kept bringing the kids around when they were very small. I mean, it's fucked up that she refuses to acknowledge any of her wrongdoing in that situation. I mean, so much trauma that I have, so much PTSD from all of that violence, the skin all over my body bleeding from a religious psoriasis. Bro, we've been covering this, we've been covering this guy for five Ooh, years. From the stress of that violence, she's she come a long to... way. He's literally exactly the same. He hasn't, though. Nothing has changed. What do you think about his nice little outfit he's wearing, that skirt he's wearing? What do you think? Outfit. Very sexy. I was a teenager, and she ignored all stayed a long way. Very provocative. <laughs> because she's too egotistical to give a shit about a trans person. While she has a rainbow flag on her front door to gaslight the neighbors about the violence. So wait. Your sister across the street has a pride flag on her door and it's not good enough for you? No. So I was on her front porch or on her front lawn or whatever, crying after one of the, the, the crosses nice... and garlic wouldn't get rid of him, so yeah. she's trying a different approach. I was beat by the skinhead. I was crying and yelling. Beat by the skinhead, beat by the skinhead. There it is. Okay. How long ago did Sherman die? Oh, it's more than a year. It's been like at least two years. Two years. At least. And she had to call 911 because I was on her lawn making a disturbance, so she called 911. Wait, wait, wait. You were on her lawn recently making a disturbance, so she had to call the... You're the problem, Dayton. On me, after I... Sorry, Cade. Sorry, Earl. Sorry, faggot. I was beat by the skinhead in this house on the weekend of my birthday, like in 2019, I think. Yeah, we covered it, and it was you hitting him. It's a fucking ridiculous. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only evidence we ever had, right? Yeah, was you hitting him, and then we saw the Outback Steakhouse incident where you were the problem. Five years ago, over five years ago now. Show me a it's video insane. where he isn't the problem, Royce. <laughs> Fucked up shit. Why are you? Why are you giving Royce tasks he can't complete? That's impossible. That's Herculean. Too loud. I mean, their kids jumping stairs around. So it's like it's 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 like Donkey Kong. Like you were saying earlier, you can't beat it. I just got a kill screen on Dayton Hypernova. It's kill screen coming up on Dayton Hypernova. <laughs> I can't hold myself back. I'm yelling and cursing if I talk about this. It upsets me very much, and it's terrible. No, I mean she. I, I am recording this because I could hear the kids downstairs talk about you know why I I, I never talked to any of them. I mean anyone in the family. Okay, but that that's not. <laughs> And that doesn't concern you, right? Like, it doesn't concern you that the children in the family have noticed the, the ones with completely unbiased opinions are asking you why you're so weird. And now you're going to start. Now he's going to start railing against the kids. Mm -hmm. Stupid kids. Why is it all so weird? 
Why, Why is watching? Uncle O dressed like a girl? <laughs> I'm going to break down emotionally because those people are all factors in how that trauma occurred to me. All of them. The children factor. were all Everyone factors. Yes. And the family is a factor. Everyone who's aware of it and everyone who sh uses the babies. To shield themselves. The babies, yes. So the babies, yes. Oh, okay. In that situation, my sister and her husband uses their kids as a shield. Uh, for like against any responsibility in that situation that is wrong and it they're is. basically hamas <laughs> they're little it's kids traumatizing dude. and it is seriously disturbing so i'm recording this to keep track of all of that There's that's right hours. keep track keep records dayton we've covered every single one of them dayton none, none of it ever worked nobody cares of that skinhead doing crazy shit in this house do you think he's happy remember we wanted to get on dr phil and we almost fooled him in, the, in thinking we were dr phil and then um he now has to know that dr phil who he loves and adores is interviewing trump one of his mortal enemies oh god yeah no think about that because he loves dr phil remember he was begging him to be on the show dude i didn't even i forgot about the dr phil stuff oh yeah dr phil's producer got in contact with him which was me <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking ass. <laughs> 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 I'm overhearing, like, as, before I started recording this, uh, I could hear my younger brother on the phone with my mom, like, yelling at her almost. Like, he was really, really, like, adamantly angry. I'm like, well, my, my younger brother never raises his voice to uh, our mom at all, even though he all this bad stuff happened to me, you know, that he allowed as well. All of them allowed all this crazy shit to happen to me by a fucking skinhead in the family. And like, you know, who is long shit. dead, long since been dead. Yeah, that. And wasn't and he, a skinhead. You know, and also quiet. how old were the little kids back then? They were probably babies. Completely uninvolved. Girl, he was just uh, about all that violence and PTSD and shit. Here's and what I don't get, right? What would he do, right? <laughs> if let's say one of the kids just said, wow, I'm so sorry that happened to you. I don't know. Would he move on? No, of course not. No, of course not. Basically, he he never raises his voice to her at all because she's Mersh, a, he's Mersh, a, I'll be Earl. You be the kid. Say that to me. Wow. I'm oh, wait. I, I'm the kid. So I would yeah, say, wow, I'm yeah, really yeah. sorry that that happened to you. These kids, guys, you know, I don't need their pity. I don't need their pity. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? They don't Another know what patronizing I mean, me. Skinhead. He's like, you know, he, he, like just... And they're watching that right-wing show Paw Patrol where, like, they glorify the dog cop. Yes. They're a bunch of boobies. Obeys all things, no matter how uh, bad, if it's, you know, her telling him, you know, to stay out of it. And he's yelling at her, or not yelling, but he's really loud, arguing. And I'm like, what is going on? So, like, over here, and they're talking about, they're, like, having a big argument about the freaking... Uh, war thing, the war going on, uh, uh, the Palestinian thing went on um, with Israel. Like it's crazy. Like, like. What side do you fall on, Earl? The one thing well, neither they argue about, about him. Ever. I mean, at least in a long time, I don't hear, hear him arguing with mom ever on the phone for any reason. Like he, I mean, he allowed a skinhead to beat the hell out of me. There it is. Seven years. That's crazy. I mean, he literally saw me as a second-class citizen in that situation where I... You know, I wish you could be a fifth-class citizen if it's possible. I wish you weren't a citizen. Mm -hmm. What happened to me... I, I wish you weren't. <laughs> I just wish you <laughs> weren't. It was my own fault for not moving out was his mentality. Even though It is your own fault for not moving out. My whole body was bleeding head to toe from erythromic psoriasis, which is genetic for my mom's side of the family. It's crazy to have no empathy and call yourself a liberal. It's crazy. So his brother's a liberal. Like he's considered the most liberal person in the family, and he didn't give a shit. More than you? Shit about what was happening to me while I bought a skinhead over twice my size was beating me on a regular basis. I had to stay Because my... the whole world doesn't revolve around the bad things that happen to you, Dayton. The whole world doesn't revolve around what happens to Cade Paradoxa. He is just stuck. Yeah. In a loop. He's stuck. It's a loop. It's, it's a miserable fucking loop to be stuck in. Your father died. Room at all times. While my body was bleeding from stress. I mean, erythroderma psoriasis is stress. Has he made he, one video that we he, played where he says, man, I really miss my dad. I'm sad that he died. He didn't done that yet. Has he I at don't any think point? So. Okay. It's correlating. It bleeds all over from any kind of stress. No, remember, so, he did do videos about his dad dying, and he made it all about him. Right, how he... And how much it was an inconvenience to him. And how was, he was worried his mom was going to sell the house, and he's not going to have a place to live. 
that whole situation. What a piece he of shit. All of that and like he, he, for whatever reason, they got into a spiel downstairs. I can hear them talking about um, the Palestinian thing going, like going on in the Middle East. And it's like crazy because they're like arguing, like really loudly. I mean, I thought they were yelling at each other at first. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm glad you're finally fighting back against these little kids, though. Yeah. Because he watches Fox News Channel on a daily basis. Fucking crazy. I think the mom is probably one of those Israel boomers. Oh, I'm sure she's a Fox News Israel boomer. His mom loves reminding us that they're our favorite, they're our fucking, our best ally, our greatest ally. Yeah, they are. We stand with them. Jerusalem. 